So today we will see how we can use the map creator to create real 3D maps. So first I will go to the location. You can enter the, the name. So I'm near to the shooting and now I will load uh, an area, predefined area. And I will change the view on satellite, so it's more easy to understand what we have here. So what we have here, we have four waypoints. And actually it's a 2D mission. In the 2D mission we have several possibilities. So we can change the grid size. And I can also change the heating from the aircraft. And I can add across mission we can always see the flight time actually if I do a cross mission we have 38 minutes so it's too much we can change that if we increase the grid size so we have less photos for the shooting and you can see I have only 24 minutes now the important point if we like to, to drag the, the waypoints you can just click them and move them actually i'm in no add new waypoint mode that's very important if we change the position of waypoints and <clears throat> if i switch to 3d now the grid is made. I cannot change here the grid heating, but I can change the resolution of the grid. And that's very important to understand why it is so. If we check the vein points, now we have 150 meters. We have 138 meters. I start here at 44 meters and my first waypoint is at 30 meters. I can change that. If I go to 24 meters, you can see I'm 24 meters, 38 and 149. <clears throat> One important thing if we are in the mountains you have easily a mission with more than 120 meters altitude difference. But we can see that later in the application how we can handle this. So for now the important point is that we have here as a, a mission <coughs> who takes care of the altitude from the region. So for this reason the application uh, selects the elevation for the four waypoints and implement them into the mission. That's uh, new uh, actually I have uh, not seen another application who can do that and we can see later how it works even with virtual so it will be very interesting to see how it works. But let's start from the beginning. How we can create a mission with different elevation altitudes. If I've created three waypoints, I get the surface. I'm in 2D mode. 2D mode I can change also the heating. I will just stop the cross pass and we can change always the grid size. Now I will add a force waypoint. change the heating and if I click to 3D mode I'm automatically 
aligned between waypoint 1, it's this one, and waypoint 2. I will just stop at new waypoints. It's more easy to drag the, the waypoints. So <clears throat> that's the start point. This is the lowest, actually at 32 meters. It depends where you click. Then we have here 140 meter and 141 meter. I can change now the start point. So I will be on the lowest point at 28 meters. If I add cross pass, I have this possibility to fly left, right and up, down. We can see that later how it works with the Mavic Mini 1. So this, the, this is the method how we can uh, create uh, real 3D missions in the mountains. And we can also save this mission and we have two possibilities or, or even three. I can save the path for the, the mission to fly. I can save only the area so I can later edit on it or I can save the caramel file to see what happens in Google Earth. That's also very important if we work on elevation that we can always check what happens with these missions uh, on elevation on Google Earth. And that was one of the next steps we will see in this video. I will check this mission on Google Earth to see how the elevation works. If I load my camel mission into Google Earth, we get this as result. So we can always check what happens and we can see that the 3D model is quite precise. I was at 30 meters for this uh, mission. So that's the point who we get really amazing results. If we have the same res uh, resolution from our photogrammy shooting from the, the base up to the top from the mountain. And that's one of the big advantage to use the map creator with the elevation <coughs> module. So we can have precise data. So I have actually implemented two data. It's for Europe and for the whole world. And more precise data will come in the future. Now let's see what we can do with these 3D models. It's very important into the mountains or on other conditions that we have really mission data who can handle full 3D data. You can see it here, uh, we have the rocks And that's even not the, the full res resolution from the, the shooting, as it is on Sketchfab. But it's quite impressive what we can do with this method of 2D missions, who can really fly against the topic of the, of the mountains or of the rocks. So let it see in full size. For shootings like this, it's very important that you have the elevation data, that you have adapted missions to be close to the mountain to get all the details. It's one of the oldest cabin actually um, in Switzerland and we have quite an impressive view from this spot. 
here can see the helicopter land place I used it before for my aircrafts now let's see how we load this app so my app uses the iCloud so it's easy to download from the map creator we have the first alert that we have 155 meters so we have to accept it to fly this mission so I can see the, the mission on the map and now we will start the aircraft so it's the Mavic Mini I am in the simulator so it's much more precise to see how the flight pass will go onto this mission and first I go up to the elevation to the altitude I chosen from the mission it's about 30 meters and then we will start the mission so the big difference for this mission is that the Mavic Mini has to go up 155 meters on this mission so the elevation is calculated and also the speed to save the, the images and it's quite amazing what we can do even with a small aircraft like the Mavic Mini 1 for this mission we use cross mode so first we go right left right and then in the second step we go up down up that gives quite, quite amazing results from the shooting so it's very important for the camera that we have always the right view to do this photogrammetry uh, missions the important point is that we have always the same resolution as we as we have always 30 meters from the ground so that's quite amazing what you can get from the resolution with a mission like this I will speed up the mission from here what you can see is the mission trigger bar so we have always the same distance between the images it's important for virtual stick and what you can see here is first left right left and for the second pass we have up down up so the camera takes even uh, at this mission each edge on the ground so that we can have quite good results from our 3D photogrammetry the Mavic Mini 1 can go up 2 meters in 1 second so that's very important to take into consideration if we calculate missions like this actually on this mission I have an altitude difference from 155 meters but you can imagine that we can have even more and so the the difference from the speed up and down from an aircraft is very important if you compare the, the Mavic Mini 1 with the Mavic 2 Pro the Mavic 2 Pro can go four times faster up and down for missions like this so that's always very important to take into consideration but uh, as you can see even the Mavic Mini 1 can do it uh, quite fast I take the Mavic Mini 1 into the simulator as the Mavic 2 or the, or the DJI Mini 2 can not uh, be simulated at this time I don't exactly know why but DJI told us that the hardware is not quite fast enough to do it In Switzerland we have no problems actually for, for 155 meters altitude difference but you have to take into consideration in each country what is allowed from the law for missions like this actually in Switzerland we still stays at 600 meters from altitude difference The maximum what you can do with a DJI aircraft is 500 meters. 
we have seen only one part from the map creator but you can see here on this part of the video is the Mavic Mini 1 on a 3D spherical mission I've also implemented the Helix mission it's quite impressive what you can do with intelligent vapors what you have seen in this video is the four waypoint vision with elevation so that's part of the next release and to implement the virtual stick pass for these missions it's the next release from HDR Parno 3D thanks for watching until the next time